How you doing, Jersey? Today on Legend Live, Juno Diaz, proud Jersey boy and author, won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction for this book, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow. It's the story of an overweight science fiction geek who grows up in Patterson and goes off to Rutgers University. Today, Juno Diaz is here speaking with students inside the Chacon Theater on the campus of Bergen Community College. We caught up with them a little while ago. Check it out. Talk to you about the role that uh, New Jersey plays in your work and how, you, how New Jersey influences your work. Well, um, I've never written anything that isn't about New Jersey in a way. Uh, New Jersey and Santo Domingo are my two homes and the two primary lenses through which I understand the world. What is it about that lens that, that makes it unique? I've heard other writers talk about, uh, Richard Ford, I heard, for example, talked about New Jersey as it could be any place. Um, but for you, it seems much more specific. You write about a specific community and a specific experience. In my context, uh, New Jersey is a very specific place, sandwiched between two large cities, uh, abutted against the most powerful city in the world. Um, it has everything that you would want from the world in one place, all the confusion, um, all the privilege, um, all the lack, but also a tremendous longing. And I don't know that there's a relationship between being on the margins of a place desired and learning about yourself that's really important and that I think is a big part of what it means to be uh, someone from New Jersey. But you set, you, you set this book, uh, Oscar Wow, in New Jersey. How would it be different if he lived in New York? Well, I don't... I, I think that had Oscar lived in New York, it would have been a totally different book. I mean, Patterson, the landscape, the history, the sort of a failed, you know, uh, early capitalism. Look, there's a very specific kind of alienation in a place like New York and a specific kind of alienation in a place like New Jersey. I wasn't the only person asking Diaz to talk about New Jersey. Here, a student asks Diaz why he thinks the experience of growing up in New Jersey seems to get such an incredible amount of attention in music, literature, and pop culture. Diaz replies by referring to an essay by another New Jersey native, the late artist Robert Smithson. He discusses the role of elsewheres and somewheres in art. Somewhere is the place where everybody wants to be. That's where art is consumed, where it is purchased, where it is ranked, where it is propagated. A somewhere is New York. Elsewhere is those other places that nobody cares about, thinks about, or even really believes are in any way important. And Smithson argues that while art may be consumed right, and validated in somewheres, the most important art in the world is produced in elsewheres. It's produced at the margins of power at the margins of scrutiny, at the margins of importance. And Smithson in his essay goes on to claim that New Jersey, stuck between Philadelphia and New York City, denigrated and ridiculed, you know, um, misunderstood, generalized, is the quintessential elsewhere. And that for us, being so close to New York City and so far from cool, gives us a vision of the world, gives us a vision of the world which is very useful, very important, and very productive. Diaz was born in the Dominican Republic, emigrated with his family when he was six, and lived in one of New Jersey's true elsewheres, this working class apartment complex just off Route 9 in Par Lynn, a section of Sayreville. Despite all the Jersey-based art and literature, he says he saw nothing that reflected his reality that of a bookish immigrant kid from There's a place this like this. That, like monsters don't have reflections in the mirror. And what I've always thought isn't that monsters don't have reflections in the mirror, is that if you want to make a human being into a monster, deny them at the cultural level any reflections of themselves. And growing up, I felt like a monster in some way. I didn't see myself reflected at all. I was like, yo, is something wrong with me? That the whole society seems to think that people like me don't exist? And part of what inspired me was this deep desire that before I died, that I would make a couple of mirrors. That I would make some mirrors so that kids like me might see themselves reflected back and might not feel so monstrous for it. And it was, 
in many ways what drove me to be a writer. Diaz says for him, the writing process is painfully slow. The brief wondrous life of Oscar Wow took him 11 years to finish. So, what's next for him? Uh, I'm trying to write a science fiction book. It's weird. I'm trying to write like a Dominicans in space. <laughs> we'll see. For real. I mean, that's really what it is. Everybody, everyone thinks my ideas are really stupid anyway, so I'm just going to do that. That wraps up Ledger Live from the campus of Bergen Community College. Take it easy, Jersey. <laughs>